Hi everyone, this would be my first video about EV myth. So um, one of the myths is that travels, especially long travels, in an electric car should take longer than an internal combustion car. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry for a long delay with English videos. I have been stuck with the Tesla likes video which became like 40 minutes long and a nightmare to produce on a mobile phone. So, yeah, I'm sorry. We'll try to push it and publish, okay? So, yeah, I have promised a video about my trip to Ukraine, uh, but I ended up with a much better idea. So, uh, compare the travel times with my previous car, first generation Hyundai Tucson, a Hyundai Tucson, petroleum car uh, with a... 143 uh, horsepower engine converted to LPG, so it flex fuel car and it became more eco. Okay, so the spoiler, Tesla and any other EV with decent range uh, will actually beat any internal combustion car in costs of the trip. So if you want costs comparison video, please let me know in the comments. But let's compare time of trips performed by radically different cars on very similar route, almost 1,700 kilometers from Pomeranian Voivodeship in Poland to Dnipro region in Ukraine. Also, if you like my videos and want to support me in doing more, please like and subscribe. And I have a quiz for you. Please also answer in the comments before you watch the video till the very end. Where is the Tesla on this graph? So very simple graph. Time of the trip. Total time of the trip, including all stops. And uh, to make it confusing for you to guess, I named car uh, one car car A and another car car 1. So guess where is the Tesla? Okay, easy pie, you say. Of course, Tesla will take more time to travel the same distance as an internal comb combustion engine car. Let's see. Let me please deduct the due, uh, a time spent for crossing the state border between Poland, EU, Schengen and Ukraine. There, are, there were different and independent of type of a car's propor propulsion system times. Okay, so... So the next graph, same graph, same total time, and you see uh, the time for crossing the border. And the car one was unfortunate to get longer waiting time at the border. Okay, almost five hours. Totally crazy. That's why uh, my family prefers to go by, by plane. Okay, so not so fast, not so fast. Where Where is the Tesla now? It seems impossible to end up with almost exactly the same time for 1,700 km trip. You know, you have to charge anyway. And charging should take hours based on trip planners. Yeah? But I'm not picking up anything. Just my two trips uh, on, on approximately the same route to Ukraine with one year difference. In time, well, both were you know, done in August for both trips. I was the main or only driver. It wasn't a race, it was a family trip. Yeah, so let's see. What are your bets now? Is Tesla still the most probable candidate for car number one? Uh, disclaimer, one car took longer uh, time to travel overall. And the longer time, excluding the border, but only on a slight, on a slight. So yeah, we see that only a slight difference between the cars exist. So let me challenge you again. It would not be fair to compare times if we would count stops not re related to refueling or charging. Do you agree? So first example, one of the cars had to stop after crossing the border to get local insurance. On a weekend it was particularly challenging, so we had to call the guy to ask him to come and to issue us an um, insurance certificate. Example number two. 
Yeah, and I hope you, you agree that we reduce, we, we deduce this time. So example number two. We met our friends on one of the trips and had a dinner together for almost two hours. It's not connected, you know, to just a trip time. It was like leisure time or meetup time. And uh, it would be fair to also remove this time. Do you agree? Okay, and another difference, example number three. One car had a perfect weather and an empty autobahn in Poland, while another car had quite a heavy rain and heavy traffic on the autobahn and a traffic jam on autobahn for to pay the toll. So let's separate these times and see what happens. As I, I have calculated that the traffic jam and slower traffic overall took at least 37 minutes of my travel time. And when I compared typical travel times on a such stretch. And the last example. We had a commitment to participate in a teleconference in one of our trips and we had to stop just for that. So we spent more than an hour uh, for a teleconference, but I will not uh, re remove the whole uh, time we stayed there because we used uh, cof we used this stop to get some coffee, to go to the toilet, to get some snacks. So let's remove only 41 minutes and see what happens. Okay, so the graph now becomes much more interesting. Yeah? Have you changed your opinion now? Will you put a stake that Tesla is in fact a car, car dubbed A now? Maybe it would be easier if we divide time of driving and time of all stops. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, we had rest stops in bo on both trips. So sleeping in the car and even a few hours in the hotel in both cars. And we also had refueling and charging. And refueling is of course faster. So let's see if we divide stops and driving. Oh! So, both cars took approximately the same time for driving. And it's predictable. If you take Google, it will show you, you know, the same time, it, ir irrespective of, of the type of a car you have, okay? But we have completely different type of stops, like two hours difference, just 12 minutes difference in total driving time uh, on a slightly different routes, uh, in a different uh, on different years on a different roads, it's I think okay. It's we can say it's negligible because cars have not taken exactly the same road. Uh, so let's put it apart. We we can say okay when when we assume only driving, these are similar. So let me guess your conclusions. Definitely that's a Tesla which required more than two hours more time probably for charging, yes? And, and, and if yes, if that's a Tesla which took two more hours stops, that should that is not such a big deal actually on a 1,700 km trip. Would you agree? So really two hours longer on a travel which took more than 30 hours in total? But what if I say that Tesla was a car number one, not A. So the car which took longer border crossing time actually had less stops. How possible? It, it had to take some detours to, to get to the charger. It, all charging times are included. It also took slower route on a slower road under construction for the last 200 kilometers in Ukraine. Maybe I was cheating. And I tell you why. I wasn't cheating. It's autopilot. Seriously. And autopilot wasn't cheating as well. But I have used it heavily. At night, in the rain, whatever. So, first I was able to drive at a constantly high speed slightly over the speed limit whenever autopilot had it from the maps or from road signs. Okay, and uh, with the Hyundai I had a dumb cruise control and uh, 
I was able to go whatever speed I wanted, but actually I had reduced the speed uh, before stopping for sleeping. Before, be, because when you are tired, extremely tired, you cannot, you know, uh, you did you are just go, you are just becoming afraid that you will end up uh, in an accident. So you reduce the speed into it's just natural, you know. And the second. My claim is that autopilot made the whole driving more relaxed and uh, has, as a result, caused less fatigue for me, for, for driver. Therefore, we had to spend less time sleeping and resting. What? How? So the Tesla was actually faster for me in my typical long distance trip. Even if I would have uh, a diesel gate in Passat, with an effective range of like 1000 kilometers on one tank, I will still do stops to have a rest, coffee, toilet and snacks. And, and same will require my family members and my passengers. So the fact that my traditional car had no great range and I had to search for the next LPG station with the good prices constantly and I have pl been planning my trips in advance made a uh, conversion to electric uh, car easier for me. Please let me know, do you want to see a detailed report about the road trip to Ukraine? Like a uh, report about charging networks, tips and tricks? Please let me know in the comments. And thank you very much for watching. See you later. Bye.